My name is Tony and today I'm going to show you how to configure your Windows device manually. Here you'll see that I've logged into my clean browsing dashboard and I've created a new profile called Manual Windows. Let's navigate to the Your Network section and enable Windows Profile. So you see I've selected here Manual Windows and you see that I have some information happening here. It gives me my primary and secondary DNS IPs and gives me my IPv6. Let's go ahead and inject those into my website. Um, before I start, I'm going to go ahead and add my public IP, which is the IP that I'm coming from. And this is what the device sees. And this will be important so that we can bind the traffic to the specific, to filter the specific traffic. So let's go ahead and configure. In your type search, in your search area, we're going to look for network. And when you see view network connections, just click on that. Double click on your ethernet or your Wi-Fi, whichever one is enabled. From here, we're simply going to click on Properties. We're going to click on TCP IPv version 4. And we're going to click on Properties. You'll see here that I had it set to the family filter. I'm simply going to update that to the uh, dedicated uh, other, the shared IPs that have been provided to me in the dashboard. And if you're wondering where I'm looking, it's right here. Then I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to IPv6. I'm going to open up Properties. And I'm going to say use the following IP address. Simply take this IPv primary down here. You can simply copy it. Take the secondary. Copy this. Hit OK. Now I'm on a virtual machine, so when I close this, it might restart my connection, and that's OK. Uh, sorry about that. I had to do a quick reboot on the virtual machine since the connection was broken. Uh, but now we're back. So let's check uh, to make sure things were set correctly. So Internet, Internet Protocol version 4, let's check that. You can see that uh, the settings match your network page here. Here you go. Uh, so we're good there. And then let's check IPv6. And if you go to IPv6, you can see that my values were retained and they match what's down here. So now let's check, take a look and see if things are functioning the way they should be. Uh, we'll just open up a new tab and we'll go uh, test one, bad example. And what I'm looking for is I want to make sure that this is going to go through to my device. So there's test one. There it is. It's blocked. Let's go to our activity page. Oh, and there it is actually, test one dot bad example coming through manual windows. And that's it, folks. And that is how you configure your Windows device manually without using uh, software. If you have any questions, send us an email at support at cleanbrowsing.org or go to our, our community forum at community.cleanbrowsing.org. Okay, thanks.